Hey, I'm Sean. This is my 2013 GMC Savannah, and this is my home. Check it out. Yeah, so I've been in the van for about a month now. Um, when it started off, it was just a passenger van. It had a seat and everything back here. I took that out because obviously you're not going to have any passengers. And there's rails on the floor, but you can't see it because I wanted to build it up to insulate it anyway. So there's an inch and a half of foam underneath here. And then vinyl flooring on top of plywood. Um, I've got my Olympian Wave 3 heater. I'm going to be traveling across Canada soon. Uh, so it's going to be cold because it's October. And I'm uh, hoping this thing keeps me, keeps me nice and toasty. Uh, 45 quart cooler that I don't actually use for keeping anything cool. I try and keep the ice to a minimum. This is actually all just dry goods. So keep my bread, canned goods, things like that in there. Um, then I've got just regular furnishings. So followed Chrome's lead on this one and I bought dresser here from JYSK. I'm not actually sure how it's pronounced either. And then the nightstand as well on this side. And then. Uh, inside the nightstand, inside the nightstand, I actually fit my propane tank. Woo, just like I did. Yep. So perfect. I just couldn't stand the idea of seeing it. <laughs> I love it. And then I used Velcro on all the drawers, because this was one thing I didn't think of right away, and I was driving around and my drawers were just flying open. Yeah, so with regards to the Velcro, so what I did was I just took two pieces, so you can see it right here. One piece back here, one piece on the front, and then took the longer piece of the fuzzy side that sticks to it, and then it just holds right around there, just like that. And then I never really ever take it off the back, it's always just off the front, and then I can just kind of stick it back in the back there like that, and it stays out of the way. So when I'm not moving, I usually just undo them all, and then when I'm going to drive again, I just hook them back up, and then uh, cinch down the water jug on the top of the nightstand with a couple of brackets here on either side and two uh, bungee cords. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, with regards to my walls, um, funny story. So I saw one of Chrome's videos, and he was looking at these panels at Lowe's, and I was thinking to myself, he's never gonna buy those, because it had been a while. And so I bit the bullet, went and I bought them, and it was like two weeks later, and he put out his video, and he actually had his walls done with the same panels. So these are the same panels that Chrome used in his van, a little bit different cutting because it's a different van, but that's how it worked out. I did leave this window here open. I've just got to cover with a bit of paint of Reflectix. And then this actually cracks, so it's good ventilation for when I'm cooking because my stove is down on the end of the dresser there. And then I just use the window spot for storage, obviously. And then with regards to insulation mine here, it's just the same stuff that's on the roof, which is a three quarter inch foam, but it's glued to the windows. Um, and then for the bed, Pretty much the same thing that Chrome has as well. It's just a six inch foam mattress. And then I've got my minus 10 degree sleeping bag, which is what I use for my main blanket because I find even when it's plus 10 degrees, this thing keeps me nice and warm. Uh, with regards to lights, these are just LED lights that I picked up at Canadian Tire and they were like $6 each. They're magnetic and they're super bright, which you can't really see in the daytime, but they can be moved around as long as I have metal exposed that I can use them on. What'd you do for the mattress? Did you actually get a custom cut foam mattress or did you buy an actual mattress? <laughs> I bought an actual mattress and I cut it down to the size of the bed because the bed itself is only I think probably five and a half six feet long. Yeah. I can barely fit there so. It's the same thing I did. I just bought a mattress that was bigger than I needed and I just chopped yeah, away. It was the easiest way to do it. Yeah. I was out in my driveway and just making a mess. <laughs> yeah and then. Um, what about your roof vent? Oh right and the roof vent. I call it my skylight more than anything else because I don't have the 12 volt hooked up yet and I'm still iffy on how I feel about it. But uh, it does add good light in here in the daytime, which is pretty nice. And then in the nighttime, because if you're in the city, you actually still get light through it. I actually took a piece of one of these curtains in the back that I've cut and I put Velcro around it and then I can just stick it over the vent so that it blocks out the light. So the curtains in the back, I put these up here because I was noticing without them, 
that I was getting draft from the back windows. It's not for light at all because the back windows are covered. Um, but yeah, I was getting cold air coming in from the back doors. So I put these guys up here. They're thermal um, drapes, or curtains. And yeah, it just keeps that draft away. It does make a huge difference to be honest with you. Um, then on the front ones, all I did was make a valance on the top because I didn't want any light bleed over it. So I just screwed that up into, took another curtain actually, and screwed it up into the top to cover over the, uh, the rod so the light doesn't bleed through. This is my kitchen area. It's just a simple little single burner stove. I didn't find that I ever needed to. I was only ever cooking one thing at a time. Um, this thing heats up water extremely fast. 25 bucks at Walmart. Um, magnetic uh, knife holder, works really great. It's actually quite strong, so it holds on to all of them pretty good. That's purchased at Ikea. I actually had that in my old house, along with these towel rack thingies here. And all of the curtains that you see actually came from my old place as well. So I was just trying to recoup what I could and uh, not waste too much. And then in this drawer is where I keep all of my kitchen stuff. So I've got my plate, my bowls, can opener, pots and pans, cheese shredder. And for power, um, I have two things, well three I guess. So I have this little power pack that I just bought, I'm kind of getting used to, but it has two USB ports here, or one USB port, one USB in. And then it also allows me, just in case I ever run down my battery, it'll let me boost my car. And then I have my inverter, just a little one in here, it's 130 watts. It's got two USB ports and one outlet here. And then I ran a 12 foot, um, 12 volt extension cable behind the dresser and then into the front power outlet. So that powers that guy. And then I can plug my laptop in if I need to and I can charge my phone. And then my speaker that I have here on the wall too, which is just a, it's a UE Boom it's called, UE Boom 2. So it's a little Bluetooth speaker I can plug into on the bottom with it. But then I use a, uh, a bike mount, a water bottle mount from a bike to pop that on the wall right next to my bed so I can either have it on or off whenever I like. And then if I want to, I can actually charge it from my inverter right here. So pretty simple. Simple and straightforward. Does the job. All my clothes, I've actually got them pared down to one drawer. So it's in here. And everything else is pretty much just extra accessories that you might need. And some stuff I'm still purging through. been full-time in the van for how long about a month a month any problems with parking at all parking no i just park you've had no issues no worries about knocks in the bang no. knocks in the bang <laughs> this fucking guy <laughs> take 10 <laughs> <laughs> all right no don't feel so bad <laughs> i'm messing up all the shots here so let's do this again take two on this shot three does this take three yeah <laughs> take take three how long have you been living in the van? About a month. Full time? Yes. Any problems with parking? Not at all. Those comments flowed through like I've asked him these three times in a row already. <laughs> um, do you sleep better in the van or in your old, did you live in a house before? Uh, an apartment. Apartment. Yeah. So do you sleep better in the van or the apartment? Uh, by far in the van. Why? I'm, <laughs> I haven't slept as good as I do in the van ever in my life. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> if you guys have any more questions for him, hit him up in the description. Um, not the description. Man, we got to cut this video. We're done. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed Sean's van tour. At this point, guys, I'm out. That's a nice don't want to see your wiener. They don't want to see your winky.